Okay, hello everybody. Uh, it's Rich Clark here, and uh, you probably can't see me, but today I'm going to show you um, about these and this. Okay, now um, this uh, foam roller here, uh, let me just see if I can pop you up there if you can see. Okay, let's just check. Yeah, that looks alright. Uh, so, if you can. Get on your foam roller, on your hip, uh, you'll find you've got a, a really kind of bony part on your hip there. If you get on that first, there, on the bony part, and then go below it, and you're going to rub and find a little spot in there which hurts, which is a little bit sore, and you go really slow and gentle over it, okay? and then do the same the other side, so that's both your hip flexors so these I'm going to show you today the four most important points ok and then next you've got uh, all the rotator cuff, rear delts, uh, the tricep origins if you can do these two, so the hips are the first one and this is the second one then and again if you find a little spot there and sort of manipulate your body and get on a spot which is sort of hurt, they're called little trigger points they are I'm not going to go into all the details and the whys and what fars I see uh, plenty of people uh, doing all this stuff in the gym and they, they're doing alright but there's these these exercises, these two are the best two alright so that's your foam roller stuff um, get one of those, they cost you about 8 to 10 quid uh, here um, another about 10 quid, uh, these are called acupressure balls okay um, sometimes I use medicine balls, which uh, I, I kind of like to do um, for different reasons. But here you've got a, a soft, a medium, and a hard uh, density uh, ball. Um, and again, same thing. This is going to be a lot more uh, localized, obviously. And then you get that kind of underneath that spot there on the, the hip and the ass, and you lie on that there. Oh, I can feel that's going right down my leg there now giving me a, a little spot to work on good and that releases a lot of tension from the hips and the lower back it's good that one there and again for the back of the arm this is torturous but it's really really good you can obviously use like uh, hockey balls all sorts of uh, kind of anything that's small and hard build up to it don't go mad too much too soon Okay, I can hear a car outside, that means my next client's just turned up, so that means the end of the video. But you get the idea, behind the back of here you've got to roll out a lot to release the upper body and the shoulders from being so rounded and forward. And then, if you can also do the, the hip flexors and the, the top of your ass and, and all there. Um, and that will free up uh, some of your low back, make your training a bit easier, uh, free your body up and um, give you a bit uh, sort of uh, easier range of movement. Okay, good luck, try it out, bye. Where's that button?